Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhera Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz with zero seconds increment on Lee Chess. And during the game, I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away from the game as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So yeah, let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Got the black pieces here. I'll play c6, the Garukhan defense, followed by d5. Opponent knows the main line, so he develops the knight instead of taking or going forward. So we take, develop the bishop. Knight goes probably here. No, it doesn't. So we can proceed with our development, which is pawn to e6 first. And I can develop my bishop or knight. Let's develop the knight. Doesn't hinder anything. So now I can probably try and exchange the knights. Uh, but I lose my bishop there. Okay, if I take. Not a good option. I'm. Let's play knight here and uh, bishop here and fork the knight, pin the knight. And bring back the bishop. That has weakened up his pawn structure over there now. To, with the king. Should not advance your pawns this much. I can take. Because after he takes, knight goes here and I'm winning a pawn at least. Can both be saved somehow? I doubt. They can be if he places knight backwards. Tricky move to find, find and he doesn't find that. So we can take on a pawn. Looks safe to me. If the knight moves from here, we he lose the pawn as well though. goes back okay now up the other knight too probably taking on the bishop next will be a good option okay pins and just develop the bishop on e7 removing the pin as well next move we can take uh should play h5 as well and make sure that if the knights are connect disconnected sometime and the situation is good. Okay, have to be a bit calculative here. Let's defend with the pawn so that now if I take at least my h file also gets opened up for the attack. I can take here. I don't see any challenge. Take on the queen first. Uh, take on the bishop as well. Bishop, bishop, bishop. Yeah, let's take. Let's take. Go for an endgame with extra pawn. And the opponent having a bad pawn structure. What better? Oh, wait. Why do I have to take here the bishop? I can go for a fork. And go piece up. And he resigns. So, yes. Exchanging can be very quick if you are into it. And you can miss out good moves, which are uh, probably possible when you are busy exchanging stuff. So do watch them out. We'll quickly analyze the game from computer perspective as well. Started off with d4. I respond with c6. Opponent plays e4, of course, going for the center. I play d5. The Karukan defense, complete setup. Uh, opponent responds with knight to c3 which is the main line in the Karokan where you take uh, the pawn next move this could have gone to the advanced variation as well if he doesn't move the knight instead advances the pawn or to the exchange variation if he takes on the pawn so three variations in the Karokan generally happen this is the main line of course there are lots of side lines and everything can be discussed but these three are the more important ones and I have posted videos on these before as well I'll place the link in the description and on top as well for your reference. 
So here I took on the pawn. Uh, black, the knight, knight also captures it back. Now bishop to f5. I had a free pawn there. But I was busy developing my pieces. So I played e6. Open response with knight to f3. I get the other knight to d7. He castles. Now I just pin the knight for to begin with. He tries to push uh, his uh, pawn forward and kick my knight away, uh, my bishop away. So I bring it back. And here, that was a bad move, as I said in the game as well. Should not open up your king side that early once you have castled. So I go back again uh, with the bishop. He tries to continue moving his pawn forward, which is again weakening. I take on the knight. He takes with the bishop. And now the knight comes over to f6. Uh, the idea behind moving uh, this knight was to make sure that queen is more active as well. So after he moves the queen here, okay, what is the best move? Um, I was wondering if this can be a good move. Okay, if he takes, we take back. Okay, he loses the pawn there. So that was the problem. So instead, the best move in this situation was to move queen to e2 still i can take on the pawn and or the bishop so pawn was going anyways uh, and here opponent played queen to d3 instead i took on the pawn he just moves his king sidewards but i don't see a point there why he did that it wasn't required at that point of time he could have gone for some counter attack like queen to b3 as it's threatening to uh, attack the b7 in this case, of course, you can we cannot move the pawn forward as well because otherwise bishop takes comes with a check. And that's a folk as well. A rook is hanging. So have to move maybe the rook there, but if you move the rook, next move, bishop can also come. So if rook here, bishop can also come here. Attacking. And we can defend. Knight. So a complex looking middle game, I would say, but still black is an advantage because the king is not safe basically took on the extra pawn there that was the main thing and in the game i played knight to uh, f6 then connecting both my knights he tries to pin my knight over there and i removed the pin by playing bishop to e7 goes now to um, e5 i can yeah take away straightly but i have thought of playing uh, h5 here because now if the opponent takes uh, I take with the pawn and the h file is also opened up, which can get very nasty very qu quickly. So in the game he played instead uh, pawn to f3 and I take on the knight now. After he takes with the pawn, I exchange queens first. And yes, he can take with the bishop, but he takes with the pawn. I take the bishop with the knight. He takes my bishop. And the first instinct uh, generally is to capture back the piece that has recently captured. So I could have gone for the bishop take here with the king, but I just saw at the right time that I can go for a better move, which is forking uh, the rook and the knight and the king. And that was game over after I played that night, he resigned. So a good game. Uh, one simple tactic or learning that can be taken away from this game is uh, make sure that now, you are not hurrying up into an exchange. You can, uh, of course, take this and still be in the game equally, but uh, not in this game because I was, of course, a piece up. Uh, but even if I uh, if I now take the bishop, he can take uh, with the pawn. If you see, I'm pawn up. He has a bad pawn structure. This can be a good end game where black will be comfortable, much comfortable playing. But then why make it an end game when you can close it? faster so that's what happens in the game and i hope you like the video do let me know your feedback press on the bell icon and subscribe to the channel uh, so that you don't miss out on any of the videos do like because i'm posting up these videos daily putting in a lot of hard work uh, i think a like is something that i deserve at least <laughs> thank you so much for your time take care bye bye